Hey guys, Nikki here and I think it is about time for me to update you guys on my weight loss. Now, okay, I got a lot of questions I will be answering in this video. It's going to be sweet, short and sweet, but since y'all need an update, I'm so sorry. My glasses are going to create a glare because of the ring light, but my allergies have been bothering me, but I got to still bring y'all this content, okay? you guys so i do have my phone right here because i am going to go through the comments on my first video if you didn't catch my first um how i lost 80 pounds without exercise i will link that video right here and this video will basically be a lot of responding to that and updating you guys so at the beginning of that video i was sponsored by bellway and that was one of the conflicts that i had with that video but girl i'm so sorry guess what this is my job honey <laughs> and um i love bellway so i'm so excited i actually got it in real time that bellway is gonna sponsor this video as well but we're not gonna talk much about bellway because i'm just gonna put in my vlog style clip right here and i want to show you guys something so you guys remember my what i eat in a day how i lost weight my bellway fiber stuff has been working awesome yeah honestly guys i've lost 10 more pounds um i don't know they said vitamin d is a weight loss thing too so maybe it's that i ain't trying to though but i eat so good and healthy now like i be indulging but like a taste of it so i was almost out of my let's just go let's just go i was almost out of my bellway and they are gonna sponsor this portion of the vlog and sent me some more so thank you bellway so just come on with me guys i'm literally looking for the old container and i i guess look i'ma just go home and show y'all i'm literally so low on this <laughs> and i was gonna purchase some more which i'm quite sure they're gonna give me a code so i'll leave it below the link to this will be below another package so this is basically fiber in my last video i showed you how i make it i'll show you in this one too um this is the which flavor mixed berry it's gluten free zero grams of sugar and plant-based so fiber you know we need fiber it regulates the digestive system you guys hear it every vlog i just got through talking about y'all complain about y'all hear it every vlog but i'm trying to snap back from getting ate up by parasites and this what let me let me just explain it really really quick it's really really simple I eradicated all the parasites and stuff out of my stomach. So now my stomach has to rebuild. So I have to do a lot of probiotics, a lot of fiber to stay regular because if I eat and I don't go for like two, three days, that food is like toxic in my system and start making me feel really sick and dizzy. So this is what I use instead of a laxative or something, all right? So enough about this, cause this is almost gone. I, this probably be my dose today and I'm out of there. So let me just get my new packet. And so here's my new box right here. I'm excited, it's the small things. You know how when you're younger, you're excited about other stuff. Me now is pillows, fiber, okay? Okay, so everything that come in the box, right here i don't want to do a whole spill chappelle is that a word because i just showed y'all i'm gonna link that video right here how i make it how i drink it how everything um actually let me just put a little clip in right now of how to make this okay i'm gonna just do that because it's gonna be repetitive because i've showed you this before right so what i do a lot is i add one to two rounded <laughs> scoops of fiber powder into an empty glass at at least eight ounces of cool water it won't blend if the water is too hot or cold okay so cool not cold not hot and then you stir briskly to mix if the mixture is too thick stir in more water you drink immediately the mix will begin to thicken if it sits too long so don't let it sit it's going to get thick all right what you can expect after two days is relief from digestive discomfort fewer cravings between meals and Improved poop consistency after a week regular healthy bowel movement improved movement and energy clearer skin and healthier hair I know you guys have been asking me how my skin on fleek all of a sudden I told you this in a lot of water so I already explained to you how you take it a spoonful you build as you go you please please when you mix this drink it right away because it'll get thick like a smoothie or something and you want it like a juicy juice you want a juicy juice so anyway let me show you what they sent me this is the oh this is this say like beauty on here oh it has collagen also so this one is the super fiber it has collagen 
and prebiotic okay hyaluronic acid for radiant skin strawberry lemonade oh my gosh i cannot wait to taste this i i'm gonna have to go mix this up i love strawberry lemonade and so here's what this one look like right here okay 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 like i say you just add two rounded scoops to some water real quick real quick stir it and drink it real real quick the first day one scoop all right let your body get used to it first but i put a clip in explaining all that so this is what this one look like that's what you have right there all right so baby i will leave the link to the way below look this is my second time talking about them and i drink this honestly i haven't been drinking it every day but every other day i will say that and it, it regulates me okay when i first started you know i was real skeptical because i'm real scary i'm real scared to try pills medicine anything now okay so make sure you check out my film over at bellway i love that company i love that product link and discount code will be below so let's talk about the conflict with that the conflict was somebody told me that my weight loss video was about selling product and bellway was the only thing sponsored in that video and clearly i use bellway so why wouldn't i join that to make money like i use the product anyway right and everything else nothing was sponsored that was food stuff i really really do on a regular okay so i'm not gonna go too much into that that's not what we're here for today the beef and the going back and forth i'm so grown i don't have time for all that <laughs> so let's talk about what I eat now in that video I did like what I eat in a day and gave you guys a couple of meal alternatives and so I thought it would be super exciting for me to just throw in some um, raw vlog style footage of a grocery haul. This is a grocery haul. Apples are very very good for digestive issues for me. I still do have GERD and I have high blood pressure so a lot of this is gonna make sense. I love these sweet and salty nuts chewables it has cashews in it absolutely amazing okay y'all know i love these snack clusters with almonds cranberry and granola the trail mix the 100 percent fruit fruit snacks sauerkraut anything fermented builds your stomach um bone broth same thing here's my low sodium soup i talk about all the time this coconut water, light and organic popcorn. This is snacks and everything. Y'all know I love these salads, different types. I love these. I love these better than I love these, honestly. And this is Amazon brand because this has almond in it. I like almonds a little bit better than cashews. And then these taste better. I love fruit, but it's not fruit season, so I get the can. Um, I love fish, so I got tilapia, which is man-made, <laughs> and cod, and I also got salmon, but it's been prepared, grapes, cran pomegranate, oh my gosh, and pomegranate juice. So there was a lot of things in that grocery haul that wasn't included in my first one because I didn't have it at the time, and there are some things that I have added, okay? So since we are speaking about things that I have added, I have added IV therapy, okay? First of all, which I will be taking you guys along with me in my vlogs because I'm thinking about doing two vlogs a week now so my vlogs aren't super long. If you suffer from any kind of digestive problems, you're going to suffer from malnutrition. You're going to suffer from dehydration because your body cannot absorb nutrients like it should and it's just going to happen. And when you go low, you go low. Like you guys didn't know, but my daughter, Sweet 16, I was extremely sick. I had a cup in my hand and everybody thought I had a cup of liquor, which I don't drink. I forgot to say that in my first video. I do not drink alcohol at all anymore. People are like, what, what, when I go out to eat, no alcohol, when I go to the nail shop, no margarita, no, because that alcohol is a trigger and also smoking is a trigger. So if you smoke, it's going to give you real bad heartburn and et cetera. When you have digestive problems, heartburn. Okay. Let's just get back on to what I was talking about. So when I was super dehydrated, I had zero fluids in me. I had been going, 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 trying to make sure my baby was good. And so I had to go to the hospital and get an IV. So that's an emergency room charge. Yes, I do have insurance, but that is a high hospital bill just to get fluids okay so there are alternatives you can go get an IV therapy look it up wherever you at 
I get my deals off Groupon, look on Groupon, look up IV therapy because it can range from $100 to $200. Yes. And then just go and get that once a week until your body can absorb nutrients, and etc. Again, because once you get dehydrated, you literally feel like you are dying. I had heart palpitations. Um, it's, you have a hard time breathing. Um, you can't sleep. You're dizzy. You're anxious. It's just the worst feeling ever. So if you can't afford IV therapy, because it is still going to be expensive, even if you get it from Groupon, this company reached out to me and oh was i glad because i'm in a lot of digestive support groups on facebook and a lot of guys recommended iv liquid iv for hydration it is like three times the power of one bottle of water um it's more powerful it's better than gatorade it's better than pedialyte you just pour it in your water and i have a clip of me unboxing that so i'll add it right here iv they reached out to me, I guess for my H. pylori or my weight loss video, and I am so glad they did. When I say in my H. pylori groups, in my digestive um, gastritis flare groups, everybody recommend liquid IV. So I am super excited that they sent me these products to show you guys. So basically, what I really need is a hydration multiplier because you guys know I am always dehydrated. So that's what you have right here. They sent it in passion fruit and lemon lime. You basically just add one to your water and it acts as if I want to compare it to like Gatorade or Pedialyte but it's healthier and it's better for you and it works better and faster I know a lot of you guys know I go and get the liquid IVs actually in my arm for my vitamins and stuff because my body can't absorb nutrients right now so this is another alternative to that to keep you so yeah basically it's just you just get a 16 ounce bottle of water you pour it in there and it's equivalent to three bottles of water what am i trying to say so yeah girl you gotta stay hydrated so back on what i was talking about let's talk about the negative i hate to talk about the negative but a lot of people said that let's be real you did not lose weight naturally you lost weight because you are sick which is very, 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 very harsh to say. Um, that is very mean to say. Um, let's just backtrack a little bit. If you guys don't know the history and what happened to me, I will leave the link to the first video. Last March, I was diagnosed with GERD. Um, I switched up my whole entire diet. No chocolate, no mint, no citrus, no alcohol, no smoking, no spicy food, no tomato-based food, hardly any fried food. I dumped all that cold turkey so of course the weight is gonna naturally fall off okay um no snacks I dibble and dabble a little bit now but we'll talk about that a little later so yeah I was sick but I did switch up my entire diet so don't play me like that you get what I'm saying I don't play me like that um like I said yes I was sick I want to reiterate that and yes that aided in me losing weight but that is not all. I switched up my entire eating habits and my entire eating habits are still switched. Um, so 10 months later, I wasn't getting better. So they ran further tests. I had H. pylori. You guys know H. pylori is a beast, especially if you've dealt with it. It can take, basically what happened is I was on a two week treatment. I blocked all of this. You just got to go back and watch out. Hey y'all, this ain't this video a battle, okay? Um, and that killed all good and bad bacteria in my stomach. So my stomach is still very re weak and fragile. I still get dizzy at times because my stomach is rebuilding. So um, as far as that, let's talk about what you can add to rebuild your stomach. Kimchi, kombucha, um, sauerkraut, yogurt, pickles, fermented, fermented. Is it fermented foods like that? Okay. So another thing I want to address is the body positivity thing. I 100% felt better when I was bigger. I have been a bigger woman my whole life, so that is what I'm used to. Um, my self-esteem was higher. Now my self-esteem is so low. I'm going to expose the reason why I've always been a plus size woman. And I've always had rolls and fat, but I owned that. I, I looked good in my clothes to me. Now, I have to pound on shapewear, shapewear, shapewear. Because now, imagine all of that weight deflated and now it hangs. My arms are my number one thing. So, 
Here's a prime example. Sorry, guys. This. Am I bruised? Let's be real. My arms are already big and I didn't like them, but now that hangs and that hurts my breast shrunk so they hang and they're harder to push up now my fupa i've been having a fupa never had a problem with that but the more i lose the more it sags so i'll stand up all right guys i apologize i actually was going to try to stand up and show you but it still won't be a good view so i'll just insert a clip of um my stomach now and how i don't like it Another big thing I got accused of was having surgery. I don't know why. I guess because of YouTube, everybody's running to the doctor now, which is 100% fine. I love it. I love it. Just do whatever is going to make you smile because at this point, I totally understand. Um, but I did not have weight loss surgery. Um, people was even coming saying stuff. Oh, that sounds like weight loss, weight loss surgery. That sounds like what people go through when they get the sleeve. That sounds like what people go through when they get gastric. Yeah, it's basically the same freaking thing. I lost weight really, really quick. You get what I'm saying? Um, so what I mean by that is I lost my hair, um, vitamin D low, B low, all this kind of stuff and i have a friend who actually just got the sleeve i want to say bsg and we experienced the same thing because it's not how we lost it it's the fact that we lost it so fast okay so that's why a lot of my my symptoms and the things i went through sound a lot like the same the people who had weight loss surgery guys i have absolutely no reason to lie about having weight loss surgery if i had it i had it i'm not a body positivity advocate i'm not so why would i lie about getting it and you know if i would have gotten it i probably would have vlogged it because i vlog every day so when did i sneak off and get this surgery y'all that's what i'm trying to understand like when did i do it if i got it um, that's nothing to lie about and I would have got it done for free sponsored for YouTube You guys do not have any idea how many doctors reach out to me to do free plastic surgery or any kind of surgery just for a YouTube video So it would have been televised honey because I would have wanted to say my coins. That's another thing though Because I am terrified of surgery. I'm terrified of the doctors period now because I've just had a rough year I'm terrified to even take medicine so if I wasn't so scared and didn't still feel so weak and fragile, I to myself still feel weak and fragile. I would go under the knife ASAP. I would get an inner thigh tuck. I would get an arm tuck, a tummy tuck, back fat. All that would be gone. But I'm scared. I'm really horrified. But at the same time, I'm tired of tucking this stomach and stuff in garments and stuff and get being hot and uncomfortable or still not able to wear stuff yeah i'm smaller now and you guys are like goals you look good but i have to go through a lot to make myself look presentable in my eyes okay my family of course they gonna say you perfect you good but to me i still feel i, I my self-esteem is low now and when i was fed up my self-esteem wasn't low it was not at all I'm still losing weight um, because I eat very, very careful. You guys will see me whining down in a vlog once a week. But all throughout the week, I mean salad and soup, salad and soup, salad and soup. Um, I'm still losing weight. When um, I checked in on that vlog, I want to say I was, on oh, my last video, my weight loss video, I want to say I was 180. Now I'm probably 172-ish. So I've lost a few more pounds, which I'm trying not to. I'm very comfortable where I'm at now. Being that I said that, someone else said, I understand you were sick, but please don't lose any more weight. Okay, that's insensitive as well, honey, because if I'm not really trying to, I'm trying to stay alive. So I'm still eating healthy so that I won't have any flares. I won't irritate anything in my stomach and stuff spiral out of control. It's just like... The part that bothers me about that kind of stuff is it's grown women saying that. And I mean grown, grown, like 60. 
because I be looking at y'all pictures. I said this in a vlog before. And it, whatever happened to, I don't know, how do you feel like that's okay to say to somebody? You get what I'm saying? I digress. People are asking me how do Bay feel about the weight loss. Bay don't care. <laughs> I'm Bay regardless. Um, she likes it though. She really do. Um, and she's not bothered by it at all, but she was fine either way. But she do say stuff like, she didn't even realize how big I got until she see old pictures. So she said she was scrolling on something the other day and something popped up. And she was like, she said my face was real fat and swole. She didn't say fat because Bay, Bay is the most, the sweetest person ever, like in real life. That girl ain't never called me out my name, fat, none of that. So she said your face is just really full and you just look so different now. And... I see that now it's weird. I look back at them pictures and I was like, baby, you was it. You was lit back then. Then I look back now and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know I was that big. It's like the weirdest thing ever. Nothing wrong, nothing wrong at all with being big, but it's just like, yes, it do take me looking back at pictures because I don't really see it when I look in a mirror. I still look my same size until I go to put on clothes. So that's another thing, my whole closet um clothes and shoes has to be purged i can't even wear my shoes anymore i used to be a eight eight and a half and now i wear a six and a half seven yes i shrunk two whole shoe sizes guys um i used to be a 2x and now i'm a medium large i'm not i don't consider myself a medium but i can wear medium like um uh biking tights and stuff so that's a big jump um so that's a hard thing because I literally cry now when I take pictures. When Bay take my pictures, I look at them and I just look so bad and sick to me. And I'm look, look, I just look. Then my neck, hold on, let's see. Look, I got all this from all the fat. Like, I just look so bad to me. And we, when it used to be the opposite, I'd be like, take it over, take it over. I look too fat. Now I'm like, take it over, take it over. I look too skinny. I want to look thick now. You get what I'm saying? Um, what I was saying was I don't really see it until I go to get dressed. That's what I was about to say. I go to get dressed and it's like a tornado in the room because I have an outfit in my head. Then the shit literally be hanging off of me. And I'm like, what? I've really lost this much weight. I'm like in denial, guys. So um, another yeah. downfall, I briefly touched on this in that video, is the comments. The skinny mini. The, oh, the constantly. What do you do to lose weight? What did you do to lose What's your secret? What's your secret? Golly, I wish I had a secret. I would be rich. Like, if I was not the type of YouTuber I am, I could have came on here and saw y'all a, a pill, a gummy, or anything. Because y'all swear it's a secret. It's a quick fix. No, guys. No, no. I always just say, put the fried chicken up, boo. Put the fried chicken up. You just, it's really that simple. Eating right and, and exercising. So... I can't think of anything else I want to address. If it's some things I did miss out on. Um, I know I missed a couple of things out. If I can think of anything else, just ask it below and I'll answer it. Because I just wanted to touch the main topics you guys always ask me. Um, am I feeling better? I'm still not 100. I can't lie. The, they said it'll take up to a year for my stomach to heal and me to feel normal. But I'm glad to be alive, all right? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link anything that I discussed below the video. If you have any questions, leave them below. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch y'all in my next video. Make, 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 make.